for our businesses and for our local economy. We know that our employers are looking for a trained workforce. I always use the figure 65% of PGE linemen are going to be retiring in the next five years and there's nobody to replace them and those are good paying jobs. And so now we're at a point where industry really is suffering. They have a hard time finding people that are skilled laborers. The dream for the Salem-Kaiser School District for 30 years has been to have a career technical education center. Salem is a community with a really great group of visionary and generous people. And this project got started when Larry Tokarski and Mountain West decided to make an investment in this community's future and in its young people. SeaTech came from a small classroom at North Salem High School. Uh, Larry had a chance to visit it, and he saw kids when they graduated from North, besides having a high school diploma, they also had certification that they had gotten in this cabinetry making class to enable them to go out and get a $15 to $25 an hour job. Uh, and he said, why can't we be doing that for more kids? He wanted to help kids. He wanted to afford kids the opportunity to engage in career and technical education training as a way to further their education. So really, it, it starts just in the heart. And you know, my dad has, has been that way a long time. He's driven that into the, the culture of the organization. He's, he's a guy who wants to go out and get things done. And we eventually settled on a public-private partnership with the Salem-Kaiser School District. We purchased this old Nielsen manufacturing facility. We provided all the CTE equipment, and then we lease it to the uh, Salem-Kaiser School District for a dollar a year and Salem-Kaiser School District has come in to hire teachers, set curriculum, and do the education part of the Career Technical Center. I think the public-private partnership is very unique and is really, I think, the secret sauce, so to speak, of the entire program. We get a lot more bang for our buck when we have both the private and public sector. Tokarski got tired of waiting for us to get it together and he himself decided to go forward and that's to our benefit. So it took a philanthropist, it took a community, it took a focused strategy on the part of the district and Mountain West to make this happen. This program is the only public-private partnership that you will find in the state and or the country. But the concept is one that can grow anywhere. It takes vision, it takes leadership, it takes commitment, and a willingness to stay the course. The difference between a career and technical education center and programs that are offered at the high school level is really the depth, I would say. The depth, the sophistication, the degree of involvement that students have in all aspects of that industry. Most CTE programs, kids have shop for one period a day. Here, they've got two and a half days that they're on site. We're all here to advance ourselves, and it's very independent. You come out here and you do your best, you try to advance yourself as much as you can. But also, they take their English and math classes here. But I think there's a great connection between hands-on, practical application of the math and the sciences that students are learning in traditional high schools. We've never had a kid say, why, why am I learning this? They know why they're learning it. Here you're actually measuring something in our math class and then doing it in our CAD room, designing it, and you actually get to do it out in the shops. I think it really kind of brings it full circle. For us, it's important to have quality instructors in the classroom that are from industry. They know what needs to be taught. They know what the equipment is used. I owned a remodeling and home building company for 20 years. The teachers that we get here for, are from industry and the value in that is that they also have industry standards. Larry probably could have easily just written a check and given it to the school district and said, I want you to spend it on career technical education. But for him, it's very important that industry is at the table. I think the key to CTEC is that we are a public-private partnership. It helps us be really true to our commitment of meeting industry demand and guiding our work with our students around what businesses in our community need. So CTEC is really more than just a course. It's more than a program. 
It's an opportunity for students to get engaged in school. It's an opportunity for students to get really excited about something. SeaTech is a place where students go for absolutely relevant education and you can tell that it matters to them. It's just been an amazing journey. I mean, it not only has SeaTech helped me just build confidence, which I've been struggling for so many years with, but building with my hands, I love it even more now. So we are about training kids for pathways and pathways beyond high school. We know that kids can leave SeaTech and go to college, four-year university. They can go to technical training or they can go straight from here into the job market. We did the survey at the beginning. We picked the 10 areas that have the highest vacancy rates for employment in our community. And so there are jobs out there for kids who graduate from here. The students know what they want to do. They have a path to get there, they can work while they're actually going to school. And quite often these programs are articulated with a community college or a university, which means the student is earning high school credit and college credit at the same time. The plan is to keep adding program, is to think about high wage, high demand occupation and pathways and to also talk with students and talk with the business community to see what's really needed. Our goal is, is over the next four years, to fill it up with 10 different CTE programs. We'll have about 1,100 students. They will represent all of our six comprehensive high schools, plus our alternative high school, and we'll have a variety of programs that will meet the high-wage, high-demand jobs of the future in our community. Hopefully. Uh, other communities will emulate what we're doing here so that they too can benefit from a private-public partnership and develop a career technical center, uh, which is much needed statewide. I feel that I'm part of something really great. I feel that students here have an opportunity that they haven't had. We. Um spent so much time in this building showing kids and trying to create the vision for them over the course of last year, then to walk in and see it and to see kids engaged in it, it was pretty exciting. You know, my dream for this facility is that it gives kids hope that kids can graduate from high school with certifications, with college credit, they can go after their dreams. So we're actually helping students, we're helping families, we're helping the community as a whole. And I'm really proud of that. This is something that we worked on together as a community. SeaTech has just changed my life, it really has.